God of all love, we give you thanks for the opportunity to grow and to learn. We thank you for this gift of a new school year. We lift up to you all our hopes, dreams, and wishes. All our anxiety, nervousness, and fears. We are so grateful that you know us and love us and that no feeling is too big for your love and compassion. Bless our educators and give them grace to teach with love and care. Bless our school administrators and give them compassion to lead with joy and hope. Bless us, the young and old. May joy abound in the renewal of friendships, in the discovery of knowledge, in the peace of being wrapped in your love and care. Amen. Today marks another milestone in the lives of our learners as we exhibit and recognize their hard work towards their learning. Knowing that we are facing a major health crisis due to COVID-19 resulting to suspension of school gatherings, we still believe that learners' efforts and creativity deserve to be recognized and acknowledged. Let us now hear a message from our potent and active principal of Eugenio S. Daza Pilot Elementary School, Mrs. Geraldine G. Opinion. Accomplishment and recognition. These are two important factors that we would like to celebrate as we showcase the pupils' outputs for the Portfolio Day. To so our honored school's division superintendent, Sir Bernardo A. Adina, our respected assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Gaudencio C. Alhibi Jr., our energetic CID chief, Dr. Lea C. Aberia, equally energetic S. Good chief, Dr. Janilo D. Dolfo, to all Education Program Supervisors of Barongan City Division, to our committed teachers, to our parents, to you all, good morning. Today, we take pride to present to you the showcase of pupils' outputs from kindergarten to the next grade levels for the second quarter of school year 2020-2021. With 1,886 pupils at present, we have done our best to provide them with weekly modules and learning activity sheets. From harvesting of soft copy modules to reproduction, printing, sorting, distribution and retrieval to almost all barangays of Barongan City Division where we have enrolled pupils under the modular-based instruction program. With the help of our parents who are always there to guide our kids, working as partners with our teachers, we make education possible amidst the presence of COVID-19. Yes, this school year is far different from our face-to-face -face instruction, but along with the struggles we face in the new normal, we took the challenges to sustain educating our children. So today, 
with warm gratitude to our partners in education department. Join us as we invite you to watch the presentation of pupils outputs by grade level in celebration of the second quarter portfolio day. Arangkada ESDPS, pagpitad kita, sulong edukalidad, suportahan ta. Thank you so much. Learning in the new normal is a challenge especially for our learners with special educational needs. Let's connect with Teacher Rufa, one of the special education teachers. Teacher Rufa, can you tell us what are the exceptionalities our SPED Center caters and how many enrollees do we have in the present? Teacher Naomi, our special education center caters children with intellectual disability, children with autism, children with difficulty in hearing, and children with difficulty in seeing. We have 47 learners enrolled in the special education program. Wow! This time, let's go back with Teacher Rufa as she will present to us the different outputs for the second quarter of our children with special needs in the SPED program. Tracing Numbers Activity can help learners with intellectual disability develop their fine motor skills which can aid them with other tasks such as learning to write. Other benefits of tracing include improvement in hand-eye coordination and spatial awareness. Different emotions activities, faces in a plate and cutouts. With emotions are for identifying and recognizing different emotions and when to apply them in different situations. This also helps learners manage their emotions during playtime, especially when initiating conversation and to be able to make friends. Initial Letter Mosaic Mosaic letters is a fun and easy way for children to learn their letter names and sounds. This is a great exercise that reinforces letter identification skills as well as fine motor skills and also a wonderful and fine way as a bonding with the child and parent. These activities put their comparison skills to work by challenging them to figure out objects with different size, length, and mass in a group of objects. These activities also improve learners with intellectual disability to differentiate between big and small, long and short, and light and heavy. It is also important to provide visual images and other related activities for them to master a particular concept. Puppet making on sense organs, it stimulates imagination of learners with autism. This also encourage creative play and aid of discovery. Learners with autism most likely to learn when they have visual of things, real or printed, so they can easily identify and recognize. Writing letters A and E in Braille, an output where learners with visual impairment use slate and stylus which are tools to write text that they can read without assistance. This embossed dots consists of upper and lower case of letters A and E. For learners with visual impairment, read this by moving their fingertips from left to right across the lines of dots. Tactile materials for counting numbers. This teaching and learning material provides an opportunity for students to work on communication and self-expression in written or verbal form. Can be a tangible way for learners to practice counting skills and number concepts. Visualize addition and subtraction sentences through picture card. This activity aims to help learners with difficulty in hearing understand concepts of adding and subtracting through visual presentations. 
they will be able to conceptualize basic math problems and can easily solve them on their own. Since mathematics is known to be used into different aspects in daily living, mastery on basic addition and subtraction will help them engage confidently during transactions such as buying and selling and in other demands of the society involving math. Snow card, number symbol, number word, number sign, and set of objects. This teaching material also serves as learning activity made for learners with difficulty in hearing. This picture card helps identify and recognize counting numbers through written symbols and names. It is individually translated into sign language for them to easily understand and learn its concept. It also has visual representation of numbers with set of objects. Learners with special educational needs have different learning styles. If we provide them with variety of activities, use their capabilities, and understand their pace of learning in different concepts, it will help them get along with the demands of academic standards and apply learned skills in their day-to-day -day living. It is indeed satisfying to see the works of our learners, despite of the situation that we have now. Their small progress is already a whole lot of step towards their development. This time, let's jump into the delightful outputs of our kindergarten pupils with teacher Gina. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Welcome to the second quarter portfolio day. I'm teacher Gina, one of the kindergarten teachers of Eugenio Isdaza Pilot Elementary School. And with me are teacher Azinet and teacher Irene. Kindergarten enrollment has a total of 201 young learners coming from the different barangays of the city of Borongan. Bugas is the farthest barangay that we catered. Kindergarten is the first stage to basic education. A five-year-old child shall be given equal opportunity to nurture their physical, social, emotional, and intellectual development. Today, I am happy to showcase the outputs of our pupils from the most essential learning competencies. We have here their socio-emotional development outputs, the family wind chimes, where they identify the members of their family. We also have their family scrapbooks made of collected photos from the different occasions that they had.
We have their miniatures of places in the community that was made up of popsicle sticks. And we have here their stick puppets of favorite friend. For language, literacy, and communication, we have the letter lacing, letter mosaic, and letter painting, where pupils can learn the letters and sounds, and they can work on their fine motor. For numeracy, we have their learning activity sheet, which shows on how they can count objects or pictures and identify the corresponding numbers. And for the sensory perceptual outputs, we have their play doh pit animals where they have worked creatively. That was all the outputs from our kindergarten pupils for the second quarter. Before I say goodbye, let me share with you a quote from Fubel Vib. Children are like tiny flowers. They are varied and need care. But each is beautiful alone and glorious when seen in a community of peers. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace be upon you and God's mercy and blessings. Our learners may struggle coping up in the new normal education, but seeing them doing their best is really fulfilling. Let us now hear from teacher Karina as she will showcase the amazing works of our grade 1 pupils. Good day everyone! Welcome to our second quarter portfolio day. I am teacher Karina, one of the teachers handling grade 1 classes in Eugenio S. Daza Pilot Elementary School. With me today are my fellow seven passionate and dedicated co-teachers. Our sections are named after the different stunning flowers in our country. Grade 1 enrollment has a total of 203 young learners from the different barangays of Borongan. Luxoon is the farthest barangay our grade level catered to. With much delight, we are proud to show off the outputs of our learners for this quarter. For mother tongue-based multilingual education, our learners made their colorful projects by giving example of pictures that represents a specific letter. For education sa pagpapakatao, we have here pictures that flaunts the different positive behavior a child must possess such as respect and love for others. For Araling Panlipunan, they made a family tree that shows their family over a generation. At their very young age, they already exhibit their love for mathematics. They create their own addition flashcards and word problems. Children love to draw, color, or paint. They display their love for arts through painting their home or school in landscape form, choosing a specific colors to create a certain mood. Proper hand washing is significant. It ensures us to be safe and healthy. So we have here pictures that shows the proper ways of doing hand washing. Let me conclude this with a quote. Every child is a different kind of flower. 
All together, they make this world a beautiful garden. We have witnessed our learners' creativity as all of these represent their imagination and knowledge. I will now link you with teacher Salma for the appealing and innovative outputs of our grade 2 pupils. The nature of a portfolio is that it's always a work in progress. Good morning! I am teacher Salma Yaras and you are watching the second virtual portfolio day. With me, our dedicated and committed teachers of grade 2. We have 314 learners from the different barangays of Barangan City. Today, we will showcase the best output of our grade 2 learners. Here are the exceptional learning outputs that serve as learning evidences under the Modular-Based Instruction Program. First, are the colorful graphic organizers wherein pupils were made to identify and fill in the elements of the story. They also made charts showing the steps in subtracting two-digit number with and without regrouping. Other outputs in mathematics are flashcards of addition and subtraction sentences that build problem-solving skills. For arts, they draw and color sea creatures and other wild animals and pasted it on popsicle sticks. How fantastic! They were able to identify the unique shapes, colors, and textures of the different creatures and express the beauty and appreciate God's wonderful creation through drawing. For English, they draw and label the parts of the book such as front cover, title, author, illustrator, spine, and back cover. For Araling Panlipunan, are pictures of community structures like school, church, hospital, mall, and evacuation center. They created puzzles showing good attitudes towards community and school are creative outputs for edukasyon sa pagpapakatao. And lastly, our pupils did their best to answer the modules, learning activity sheets, and handwriting worksheets given to them every Monday. Those are the amazing outputs of our learners. See how creative and artistic they are? Thumbs up for their exceptional work. Thank you for watching. This is Teacher Selma, your host for today. Back to you, Teacher Naomi. Wow, those outputs were truly marvelous, so as our teachers. Let us now connect with Teacher Gina as she will exhibit the works of our grade 3 pupils. Good morning, everyone. This is Teacher Gina. This morning, we're going to showcase the outputs of our learners from different subject areas, which I believe were extracted from their best efforts to come up with such. Even in this time of pandemic, we in the Great Three Department of Eugenio Isdaza Pilot Elementary School consist of eight teachers never failed to reach out to our pupils so that their knowledge and learnings will continue. Online classes, home visitations, printed modular instructions became our medium to cater to their needs for education. In science, they made albums of the different parts of plants and body parts of animals, as well as their functions. They also made a diorama of animals' habitat. For mother tongue-based multilingual education, a compilation of short stories with emphasis on pronouns and comprehension questions. In Filipino, we have compilation of rhyming words. For education sa pagpapakatao, our learners were able to create picture organizer showing the ways on how to take care of sick people and handicapped.
In Araling Panlipunan, they were able to make artistically scrapbooks on the changes and development of one's province and region. In order to enhance their mathematical skills, our learners made multiplication table and multiplication relay. May I share this quote from an unknown author? Children are like wet cement. Whatever falls on them makes an impression. Be safe, everyone. Thank you and God bless us all. Our learners' efforts coping up in the new normal is really commendable. It is satisfying and fulfilling seeing our pupils learn despite our situation. I will now hook you with teacher Josephine as she will let us see the talents and creativity of our grade 4 pupils. Good morning! Today is our second quarter Portfolio Day and we are proud to showcase the creative works of our grade 4 pupils. Here you will see that they were able to design models of animals living underwater and explained how these adaptations help these animals survive in their environment. Another output of our children for their science subject was this portfolio. which was made out of cut-out pictures of plants. From here, they were able to describe the specialized characteristics and structures of plants. It is just amazing how well they understand the world of plants and animals, or should I say, the world we live in. For arts, it was evident that our pupils have developed in-depth understanding and appreciation of the different cultural communities in our country through their drawing outputs. For the English and Filipino subjects, the outputs that we have here reflect that our children have already recognized and understood the different parts of speech, one of the basics in learning the English and Filipino languages. This part here showcases our learning activity sheets for mathematics, music, arts, physical education, and health. Answered modules for English, Edukasyon Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan, Araling Panlipunan, Filipino, Science, and Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao. My name is Cherry Antoinette Dibakilod, Grade 4 Akasha of Eugenia S. Lasa Pilot Elementary School. Today, I'm going to be singing Bahay Kubo with the Sofa Syllabus. So, do, re, ti, so, so, ti, so, mi, pa, so, la, so, fa, re, re, mi, re, do, so, so, do, re, do, ti, so so la la ti la, so so la la ti la, so do. So, I am Bongkayo Pekarbahan, and I am going to perform sofa syllable bahay kubo. So do ri ti, so so ti so, mi fa so la so fa, re re mi re do, so so do ri do ti. So, so, la, la, ti, la, so, so, la, la, ti, la, so, do. Thank you. Number one. Do, so, do, so. Perform number two. Perform number two. So, la, so, la. Perform number three. Mi, so, mi, so. Form number four. Me, 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 me. Form number.
number five. Thank you very much. This brings the end of our presentation. Keep watching the presentation of the other grade level. Thank you for your time and attention. This is Teacher Josephine. Keep safe, everyone. God bless us all. Chances to improve and be developed are more than the four-cornered classroom. Our pupils' work are one of the attestations that our learners can still continuously learn in this time of pandemic. Let's connect with teacher Melissa for the presentation of outputs of our grade 5 pupils. Good morning! I am happy to present to you the output of the grade 5 learners. The quarterly portfolio day has always been the most awaited part of learners in different schools. Our stakeholders look forward to this, for this day showcases the output of our school children in different subject areas such as Filipino, English, Science, Mathematics, Araling Panlipunan, Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao, Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan, Music, Arts, Physical Education, and Health. In Arts, Demonstrating skills and knowledge about foreground, middle ground, and background to emphasize depth in painting a landscape. In Araling Panlipunan, one of the learner's output shows about the first mass which was held in Limasawa Island in March 1521. It is very timely that we are about to celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. As we end the second quarter of school year 2020-2021, let us remember that learning is not attended by chance. It must be sought for with ardor and attended to with diligence, according to Abigail Adams. I am teacher Melissa. It is my pleasure to be with you today. Keep safe, everyone. Creativity of our pupils are very admirable as they have shown their talents and knowledge towards their learning. How amazing is that? This time, let us watch Teacher Charlene as she will give us the outputs of our grade 6 pupils. Good morning! I am happy to present to you the outputs of the grade 6 learners. We have here our learners' outputs that demonstrate their practices for building and maintaining healthy school and community environment. How they as young members of the society and as young members of their community help address the three R's of waste management and show their value for austerity. 1. By practicing the three R's which stands for Reduce, Reuse, and Recycle in using plastic bottles for creating their own musical instruments. 2. Creating posters advertising their own products and in making their own coin box. Of course, they were also able to express how important their friends are to them in this output, pagpapanatili ng mabuting pagkakaibigan. They also created a model of the human skeletal system using recyclable materials and explained the importance of the materials used in making the model in relation to the function of the human skeletal system. These outputs of our learners in ESDPS belonging to the grade 6 pupils are all in response to the Department of Education's motto, Sulong Edukalidad, despite the challenges thrown to them during this time of pandemic.
Teacher Charlene, may we know the total numbers of grade 6 enrollees you cater for this school year? Teacher Nomi, we are proud to say that we catered 312 enrollees for the school year 2020-2021. Wow! Teacher Charlene, how about the farthest barangay you are currently catering? The pleasure is ours, Teacher Nomi, that we cater one pupil from Barangay Tamuso and one from Barangay Kamada, Kamada which is the boundary in the southern part of Barongan City. Thank you, Teacher Charlene. The pleasure is mine, Teacher Naomi. Thank you for having me this morning. Keep safe, Teacher Naomi, and keep healthy. This school year has been really challenging for our learners and for us educators. It brought a lot of challenges, but we're still able to do things that are essential for the continuity of learning of our pupils. The president of Eugenio S. Daza Pilot Elementary School Teachers and Employees Association Ms. Karina Aldailimbawan, Master Teacher 1, will give her closing remarks. Learning is the product of the activity of learners. My warmest morning compliments to all of us, most especially to our highly recognized and determined schools division superintendent, Sir Bernardo A. Adina, our dynamic and active assistant schools division superintendent, Dr. Gaudencio C. Alhibid Jr., our Competent Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Dr. Leia C. Aberia, our Energetic School Governance Operation Division Chief, Dr. Junilo D. Dulfo, our Skilled and Organized Education Program Supervisors of Borongan City Division, the approachable, open-minded, and forward-thinking school principal of Eugenio S. Daza Pilot Elementary School, Ma'am Geraldine G. Opinion, supportive parents, dedicated and committed ESDPS teachers, a blissful morning to everyone. Behind every successful child is a parent, but behind every successful endeavor is a teacher. The sweetest fruit of our labor is what we harvest today. In the second portfolio day, learners' accomplishments have been displayed to show how good they are. The achievements of the little learners are not just the happiness of the parents, but also the fulfillment of the teachers. It is therefore fitting that on this day onwards, we need to give due recognition to the hard work of the people working hand in hand for the success of our pupils. I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to our dynamic school principal of Eugenio S. Daza Pilot Elementary School, Mom Geraldine G. Opinion, for taking the lead and for overseeing that all will run smoothly and organized, school-based portfolio day for the second quarter, whose dynamism is beyond measure. Appreciation is worth giving for the all-out support of the technical working group headed by the production designer and manager, Sir Edison Villasin, Scripts coordinator, Ma'am Jovet Ganaba. Photography director, Ma'am Aloha Campo. Costume designer and makeup artist, Ma'am Maricris Abilior. Digital Imaging Technician and Camera Operator, Ma'am Melanie Pacunla. The members of ESDPES faculty deserve a round of applause for the job outstandingly done today and beyond. Praise is also due to the parents whose immeasurable sacrifice never fails. Thank you everyone for witnessing this most significant event in the history of our pupils' young lives and their accomplishments for the second quarter portfolio day. Today's affair would not be made possible without the concerted efforts from all of us. So congratulations for the task successfully completed. Thank you.
We may face this trying and challenging time, but this is an opportunity for all of us to prioritize our human connections and relationships, as we believe that cultivating climate of care is critical now and in the future. This has been Teacher Naomi. Thank you so much for watching.